you know, Seth is, I think, a uh, spiritually, physically uh, superior to George in every way, you know. Um, and uh, I think Seth, although he's very modest, uh, looks for all places to prove that he is better than George. Uh, I think he does that with most males, you know. Most males here before George's arrival are already cowed by Seth's awesome manness, but uh, I think George has to get used to that. He is a uh, a baller improviser. He's just a really fun. Some of the funniest stuff actually has come out of Paul going. Oh, it's just he has just sort of a very interesting angle on on jokes, um, and he's tossed me a couple lines for me to say, which he's also which also shows his generosity as a as an actor. He'll say like, well, maybe we just, maybe it's like this, and then I'll say that, and it's the it's the funniest take we could have gotten. The ultimate fantasy is that you just, you know, that you just give up on your life and you can just start a new one. And I think obviously the joke is, is that that can be so much harder, <laughs> you know, even under the best of circumstances where everything seems to be sort of served up beautifully and, you know, where there's complete artistic and creative and sexual and intellectual freedom. It's a weird velvet prison <laughs> that, you know, no one would ever want to spend time in.